What's up guys, Tim Little, Josiah, JD Little, welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today, we got the boys out on the water for a little fall bass fishing, chasing spotted bass. Should be a good one, let's go. For whatever reason, the first 10 or 11 fish catches of this day, we lost audio. I have no idea why the mic stopped working and then started working randomly. So I'm gonna cut out about half those fish catches, but I wanted to include the other ones because it's my boys catching fish or there's some key teaching moments. So we're gonna watch those together. I'll overlay some of the teaching, the talking, while we watch it together because there's some key tips in there I wanted to share with you guys. But more importantly, it was an awesome day out of the water and caught a ton of fish. Uh, what we had going was just fish just exploding offshore chasing bait and the kids got to experience that and throw some top water. Uh, the coolest thing about this day was the microphone started working. The first clip it cut back in and started working was the clip where JD catches his new PB spotted bass. Massive spotted bass, excited for him. Let's watch some footage. All right, so what we have, we're out here fishing this reservoir. Here's Josiah, my youngest, hooked up. He caught the first two fish of the morning, uh, throwing a Whopper Plopper 90 in chrome color uh, on a spinning rod. So I have braid to leader tied on, and uh, the trash stock, uh, talk started, right? You guys that follow the channel have seen these boys fish together before, but um, you know, he's this whole time, he's like, I got the first fish, you know, blah, blah, blah. But more importantly, so we're on this offshore hump and you can see that there's fish down in 12 to 15 feet and there's fish, oh, here it comes. There's fish down only five feet. They're coming up to the surface and blowing up. So with that whopper plopper, he's just, ca <laughs> he's just casting. I have him in the back of the boat and he's just fan casting different angles and trying to get those fish that are up in the water column. Nice one, dude. Up in the water column to commit to the top water bait. Again, hooked up fish number two. And uh, you can imagine the talk between the two brothers, the competition. They're very, they're very competitive. Um, so I have to tell them to tone it down every once in a while. But again, throwing on the spinning rod with that braid, that smooth braid. Uh, you can cast it a long ways and then putting that mono leader on there just helps with abrasion resistance. But uh, just adjusting his drag here because those spotted bass, a lot of times when they're schooling or they come up and they hit that bait, they're not, they, sometimes they even hit that bait with their mouth closed so they'll get the hooks on the outside of their face or in their forehead or under their chin. And when they get close to the boat and they make that real hard pull, uh, they'll rip the hooks out of their face or their head sometimes. So you have to be very careful. A nice little fat chunky bass of course he wants to hold it and let it go but um that whopper pulper just covers a lot of water so here out here to the left i see them blowing up i'm throwing a shower blows 105 now you'll see a hook sit there and i actually teach this later in this video that i had to cut out but it's really important when these offshore bass blow up on your bait that you don't do a massive hook set because like I said earlier, when they hit that bait, sometimes they'll knock it out of the water and they don't actually get the hooks and you set the hook, you now pulled that bait, you know, five, six, seven feet away from that fish and sometimes they don't come back and, and try for round two to get it. So um, kind of reel down, feel that weight and then load into them with the hook set. Don't do a giant uh, hook set like you would do if you're, you know, throwing a swim bait or, uh, you know, a punch rig, something like that see what we got here. Again, they peel so much drag. When they get close to the boat, <laughs> not wanting to come in. When they get close to the boat, that's when they turn on those, those afterburners and that's when they can blow those hooks out of their mouth. So it's really important to loosen that drag. If you have them hooked well, then you can boat flip them. But uh, you can see he's got more than one hook there. Fat spots, just bellies full of shad. You can really tell when I turn that fish uh, belly towards the camera. But I'm throwing that chrome color. Throw your shads, throw your your uh, chrome colors, your bait fish colors this time of the year to get those fish to commit. Right here, you see them blowing up out there in front. Boom, bait lands, fish on. 
So it's really important if you do see these fish blowing up to get on them and have a nice accurate cast as soon as possible. The sooner you can get into that school, the better your chances are to uh, catch those fish or get them to commit to your... <laughs> so JD right there, you saw he swung and missed and I'm telling him, hey, don't set the hook. Reel into him when you feel the weight, then set into him. But uh, I think... I think this fish eventually comes off, yeah. But you could see in that that video, those they're blowing up. If you make a good cast to them, and you land, sometimes the, as soon as your bait hits the water, they will explode on your bait. Again, see another school out there chasing shad. Now these fish are over seventy feet of water, sixty seventy feet of water, so there's not really any way to target them until they show themselves. Uh, what we were trying, oh, doubled up. What we were trying to do is a one-two punch. So an underspin, like a tactical underspin, like a, a three-eighths ounce one that you can get, make long bomber casts, count it down five, 10 feet, and we were just covering water. And then when they come up schooling, we pick up our top water rods. We had, again, I cut out a bunch of fish catches just because I didn't want you to watch minutes and minutes of, of, of me just talking. Um, but we had multiple attempts at triple ups, which was really cool, especially with the with the two boys. This is their first time experience experiencing the the crazy spotted bass. But uh, awesome double up right there. Had an awesome day out on the water with the boys. Now we should cut. Look at Josiah peeking in the back. Yeah, the trash talking stopped after JD put started putting them in the boat. Um. I think this is the last clip before we actually get audio, which is cool. But uh, for whatever reason, nice, good job, JD. For whatever reason, that mic just stopped working um, the first part of the day and then started working again. So what do we got? So you can see that rod, how it's loaded up and those fish are pulling when they get close to the boat. Just one hook right there. Look how healthy those fish are. JD actually broke his finger uh, a week prior to this in baseball, so he's got a finger brace on there, but didn't didn't stop him from casting and catching. Remember your BFS. Don't horse them. That's a good one. Can I let him down? No, oh, watch out. You come up here. Can you back up. Huh? We still haven't seen him yet. So I come up here. Don't horse him. Hold him. Hold him up. There you go. Let him do work. Remember, you're only six pound test. Oh, giant. That's a giant spot. Dude, that. No, no. What is that? Oh. <laughs> Dad, do you have to scale in here? <laughs> well, fatty on the. Oh, it came right out. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> do you have to scale? Yeah. Uh, that is awesome. Hold your fish, dude. That's your new PB. Oh, heavy. <laughs> awesome no, dude that's a giant all right guys just threw that one on the scale 4.74 almost a five pound spotted bass really really cool uh, just pulled up up here to this main lake point comes way out breaks off to like 40 to 50 feet out here right out here it breaks comes up to like 16 foot use that mega live panned out and saw a big bait ball with two fish on it and uh, kind of sh show JD where to cast. He threw right on top of him, dropped it down. All of a sudden you see the, the bait ball disperse and uh, he sets the hook on a massive spot of bass. Awesome, dude. Congratulations on the new PB. Yep. His previous PB was 3.8. 
3.6, 3.8, something like that. So smash that, awesome. Guys, it's been a great day. We've caught a ton of fish, missed even more. You know, spotted bass are just so ferocious and crazy. They just, uh, sometimes when they eat those top water baits, um, they don't get the hooks in the mouth, like I said earlier. They get them in the side of the face or in the head or in the side. They can just be spazzes. They just are. Okay, let's let them go. Let them sit in the water for a second. Turn him side with him, see his belly. There you go, that looks awesome. <laughs> Go for it. Woo, this one's gonna hurt. It's on that new jerk bait by Shimano, the Zoom Verno. Nice, dude. Good job. Don't horse them. Don't horse them like that. Get it on your side. There you go, real. It's a good one. Don't hurt it like this. Just real. JD, watch out. Hold it up. Don't reel when he's pulling. Don't reel when he's pulling. There you go. This is a good one, dude. Oh, yeah. Good. Okay, bring him around the full motor. Don't reel him up. Bring him around the full motor. Let some line out. Reel it up. Reel. <laughs> All right, ready? Ready? Ready for your boat flip? Yep. Hold the rod. Grab it right here. And get the momentum going. And swing. All right, I'll get it. <laughs> nice, dude. <laughs> yeah, I can't yeah, I can't Come hold your fish. Right in the. I'll just get the hook out real quick. I got it. I got it. Hate that uh, tactile underspin. The Largo shad on there. Here, hold your fish, bud. Show him to the camera. Ah. You got teeth. Go across the lip. Mm. Go across the lip. Can't. There you go. He's got teeth. Show him to the camera long ways. Thanks. <laughs> nice work. Yeah. Got him. Oh, that was so cool. I okay. saw him eat it. Wouldn't that Watch sight out. Watch out. There wasn't that sight fishing. No. 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 But he saw Sight fishing is when you see the fish and then casting it. wasn't ready. Cast guys, there might be more. Mm -hmm. Can I get behind you, Dad? Cool. Did 
a face full of hooks. That was super cool. I was I was checking my bait. I was checking the cadence and just the flashes and just saw the spot just come up and just swipe at it. No. So I'll show you two of them before I get a handful of hooks. No. Got a bluegill. That's a giant. On the jerk bait. Got it. Yeah. I hit that spot so hard with that spy bait. Did you? Sorry, right here. <laughs> yeah, I set the hook like it was a hook on a Huddleston. <laughs> he cracked that duo. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Hey, it's the spy bait. We've uh, continued to cover water. Caught a few more on like jerk baits, and obviously, JD got that real big one out off of a main lake point on an underspin. But the top water bite that we had going earlier. It's, com it's non-existent, it's completely shut down. So we've been having to uh, try and worm or spy bait or uh, really finesse these fish. It's just different ways to catch them. Just having to, having to adjust. But um, <laughs> I set that hook way too hard for a spy bait. I forgot what I was throwing for a second. I, I hammered that fish. I'm only throwing like six pound fluorocarbon. JD's on the board again. Another topwater fish. Good job, bud. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap it up there. Uh, an awesome day out on the water. Uh, spotted bass topwater chaos is what uh, is what really went down today. Uh, lots of lessons learned. Lots of lost fish, missed fish. Um, you know, when you can't, when you, when you get these fish schooling like that, um, you cannot set the hook on the top water. You basically have to walk it. If you're throwing a walking bait and they eat it and you just kind of load pressure on them and reel. And if you feel it loading up, then you can lean into them. Or if you're throwing like a whopper plopper, you just kind of reel faster and load into them. Almost like you're reel setting a drop shot. Once you feel that weight, you can set, but if you if you set on the initial blow up uh, a lot of times they slash at it and miss it and we took the bait away from quite a few uh big ones today 
Yeah, I missed one. <laughs> he <laughs> had one that it, I'm not sure it wasn't a big striper or something because it was so much bigger than all the other spotted bass uh, blow-ups we had today. But basically came in and just whoosh, just toilet flushed. And he swung and pulled that bait like five feet. He swung on the hook set and pulled that bait like five feet away from yeah. that fish. But uh, all in all, a great day. I know it was a little tougher, uh, Josiah back in the back, fishing the whopper plopper and stuff. You know, a lot of times the blow-ups were out in front, so he was having to bomb cast over us. And uh, But we, we we managed, you caught a few, right? We caught some good ones. Had a good time. Yep. Uh, JD got his new PB at 4.74, just under five pounds. That's a giant spotted bass. Uh, so awesome, awesome day. Most of our damage was done today on the top waters. I'll link all the baits down below in the video description. And then the, the underspin, the tactical underspin, paired up with either a Largo Shad or a Kitek, uh, did the damage. He caught a lot of his on the Whopper Plopper, caught some on that new uh, jerk bait by Shimano. And what else? Spy bait, jerk bait, um, top water. All sorts of top All sorts of things. We'll link all the baits down below in the video description. But as always, guys, thank you for watching. We appreciate the support. If you like this type of video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you guys on the next video.